There's one movie where uh, some, one of the characters says, are you happy? And the other character goes, you can't ask that. That's not like a question, you know. <laughs> that's not a, 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 a question that's, you know, allowed. You can't, <laughs> you can't say, are you happy? When actually that would be a very important question. If, if we were created by God to be in perfect happiness, are you happy, I, w I would say is a very pertinent question. And we're not talking necessarily about happy about outcomes, because I, I got the promotion, I got a bigger salary, I got a bigger car, you know. What's that, when we were here last time, was it the Stenson family? We, we started to learn a little bit about <laughs> two point five children, Volvo in the garage, <laughs> dogs. dog, <laughs> house, and a summer house. You must have a summer house. So you were telling us, I was I was learning about the the Svensson family uh, here, and I'm going. Hmm. So this is this is like we have the phrase the American dream. Uh, this is great. This is the Swedish dream. <laughs> Unconsciously being exposed to me in the car. So we had a great ride <laughs> talking about how there can be a lot of people pleasing to protect the Svensson family, <laughs> because you know because that's the accepted norm, and the desire is to to be. We have a movie called The Stepford Wives. You know, which was an extreme version of, of wanting women, in particular, to behave in certain ways for their male partners and so forth. Behave very robotically, you know, don't rock the boat, be, be this way, be sweet, be serving, and da 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 But it's the ego, we'll say, that's underneath, that's behind all of this control. It wants you to have an ideal in the world, to think that you can achieve it and be happy. Because remember, this world was made as a substitute reality. It was a made, this whole cosmos, this whole linear cosmos was like a cosmic fig leaf. If we use the, the fig leaf analogy from the, the Garden of Eden, where the, the fig leaf, they, they, they saw that they were naked, they, they grabbed the fig leaf to cover the private parts. Who, who would say that certain parts of the body are private? More private than other things, you know. Why? Why aren't the ears private parts? You know, or why? Why isn't the hair private parts? You know. Oh, I'm embarrassed. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Said, oh. Or eyes. Oh. Or nose. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. It's, it. It does. If you have no people pleasing, no private thoughts, then you start to realize that you're going to have to get over the guilt and shame of private parts, even. And all the guilt around the body and around sexuality is just conditioned private thoughts that are projected out onto a world. And so certain topics are taboo, you know, you can't talk about that, and you, you can't do this, you can't show this, you can't show that, you know, it's really a world of specialness. And the ego is underneath it. The ego is driving this whole world. It's the only one that, that makes preferences, that makes private thoughts, private parts, you know, it's the only one that's that set these artificial standards. And the American Dream or the Svensson family is just a, 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 an accepted, seemingly accepted version of this is this is the goal you should be going for. Like, I've got a good job, but is it good enough to have a career? Do you have enough money to come in to have the 2.5 children? A new Volvo, let's have a new Volvo in the, in the garage, and a nice solid house, and, and so on, and a summer house that you can go to. It's almost like showing off, like, how well have you succeeded in the world? Well, I've got a really good sense of family, and uh, I keep it updated, and it's got all the modern technology and everything with it.